Hi again. Remember how in our last lesson, Prina was praying to one of the stone gods? Well, she left that place very disappointed because she realized that that statue could not hear what she was saying, nor could it answer her prayers. But she also remembered what the woman in charge had told her. She had said, don't ever go outside the temple again and don't run away. There's a foreign woman outside the wall who catches children and she will get you. Everybody calls her child catching Missy Amy. Later that night, Prina laid down on her bed and she wondered and she cried. I wish she would catch me. Can the foreign woman be worse than all of this? So she began to plan how she would escape again, but she had to be really careful not to get caught. She watched for her chance to leave and she ran out of the temple as fast as she could. Her heart was beating so quickly and she was so careful to stay in the shadows so no one could see her. And she saw a building in the distance and there was a nice looking woman who was standing outside by the well and she went up to her and said, please don't take me back to the temple. Help me, help me to find the child catching Missy. I beg you, please. Well, that woman was so kind and she took Prina in that night and let her stay with her in her home. And very early the next morning, she took her to Amy's house. And Amy heard a faint little knock on the door. And she was so pleased when she opened the door and saw little Prina standing there but she was so very, very frightened. Amy scooped her up into her arms and she said, come to me. And she listened very, very intently, very, very carefully to everything that Prina had gone through. She placed a small doll in Prina's arms and she thanked God for sending her Prina from behind the temple wall. Prina smiled for the first time in a very, very long time. And she said to Amy, I'll stay here forever. No one in the temple ever loved me. My own mom didn't love me. No one's ever loved me before. And just then Amy thought back to when she was a little girl and she sang the song, Jesus Loves Me. Do you remember from that lesson when Amy asked Jesus to come into her life? Well, in that moment, she looked down at Prina and she said, Prina, there's somebody who loved you even before I knew you. There was someone who made heaven and earth and he is God. Amy explained to Prina how much God loved her and how Jesus was born as a baby and he was God. He grew up so that he could take punishment for Prina's sins for the bad things that she had done. And she explained to Prina everything about what Jesus did for her. Then she gently explained how Jesus too had scars on his hands, just like Prina did. Remember, they pierced Jesus' hands with nails when he was on the cross? And remember how Prina had scars on her hands from how they marked her and they burned her? Amy was careful to explain that Jesus had none, never done anything wrong, but that he had willingly taken the punishment for the bad things that we've all done. Prina got so sad and she didn't understand that Jesus was no longer dead. And she thought to herself and said out loud to Amy, if only he were alive. And Amy answered really quickly, but he is alive. Remember how we're celebrating that on Easter this week? The Lord Jesus, she told Prina, is alive and he rose from the grave and he's in heaven preparing a special place for all of his children to live. And that Prina too could ask Jesus to come into her life and forgive her if she believed on who he was as God's son and believed that he died and is alive again we have believed all these things, Prina could know Jesus too. 
Prina was so excited that she had learned about Jesus. Amy told her that no matter what happened, that God promises that he will never leave her and that once she prayed and made the decision for Jesus to come into her life and to forgive her, that he was never going to leave. And that's the same promise that Jesus makes to you. If you prayed and asked Jesus to forgive you, he has come into your life and he lives within you and he's never gonna leave you and he's always there to help you and take care of you. Before long, the temple women appeared at the door of Amy's house and they wanted to take Prina and they wanted to take her back to the temple, but Prina bravely stood on the porch and she announced, I don't wanna go back. I'm not gonna go back to the temple. Amy wondered what was going to happen next. What do you think happened? Do you think they took her? Well, let's find out what happens next week in our lessons. Bye, guys.